guys, it's Janae here. So, apparently there's a new game coming out called The Evil Within, and it's going to be released in 2014. And I love scary games, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Dead Space, I love them all, but I'm super excited for this game because it's not a continuation of another game. Like, you know, it's not a continuation of Silent Hill, it's not a continuation of Resident Evil or Dead Space, it's just its own kind of thing. It was originally known as Psycho Break in Japan, and I never really understood why they changed the name of, you know, like, in Japan will be called something else, but when it comes to the US, when it gets released, it's called something else. I never understood that, but unless it's in, like, complete Japanese, you know, I don't know. But the plot is about a detective named Sebastian, I think that's his name, and he um, is sent to an asylum, I believe, and he goes to do, you know, detective work. And once he gets there, he gets knocked out by a monster, and he's like, um, this is, I think this is just like the beginning of the game. I watch like a gameplay part of this part, and he gets um, knocked out, and he's hanging upside down. He has to try to get out of the little chain thingies. I think he like finds a knife and stuff, and then he has to like sneak around the monster and like, try to like open the door and get the keys and like try to leave. And then there's like a part two where the monster's like chasing him down the hallway, which is like crazy. There's like dead bodies and stuff hanging upside down, like right next to him, like that are like all beat up and like cut up and stuff. The monster is pretty big too. It's like a pretty like jacked guy or whatever it is. The really cool thing that caught my eye though, mostly about this game, is that Shinji Mikami is directing it and I guess also like developing it with with you know the people that are making it and he is the guy who created Resident Evil which is awesome because I love Resident Evil and so I feel like that's gonna make this a good game. He also created a third person view type like Resident Evil 4 like the behind the shoulder kind of view which I love that kind of view it's like the best to me like I love it absolutely love it it's amazing because you can also see the character but you can also see what the character see and that's how this game when I watched it I saw that and that's how this game was too and in an interview with one of the people they said that they were gonna try to focus on making the game scary and like making you never feel comfortable which is awesome too because you know how you're playing you go to like the safe room or whatever and you feel safe you're like oh monsters can't come in here but they said they're gonna try to focus on making you feel uncomfortable making you never really feel safe I can't wait for this game to come out because I feel like it's gonna be really good I've been waiting for a scary game to come out for a while and you know, Resident Evil 6 hasn't really given me that scary feel. I mean, it's still kind of fun to play, and it's Resident Evil, so it's like, yeah, I shoot, kill zombies, but I feel like this is going to be super fun. It will be released on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One, so and I can't wait to play it, and I really, I do want to get it because it looks fun and awesome, and it looks like a fun, scary game to play, so I'm really excited for this. Anyways, thanks for watching.